Okay. Oh my god. My, my Super Bowl streak ha ha has ended, people. It, it, it has ended. I was going to upload this sooner, and I'm going to go ahead and do it now. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it now during this video. But yeah, uh, my, I am, I'm no longer undefeated on, on YouTube. I am 5-1 and one on, on, on YouTube picking Super Bowls. And, 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 it, and it'll be shown after during, during this video. But I just want to take the time to say congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles. What a game. What a game by the Philadelphia e Eagles. Oh, Nick Foles, that touchdown he caught, <laughs> that was on a, on a fourth down, but mind you. Great call by Doug Peterson. And it was Doug Peterson making the call. Because oh, he calls the plays. But, ho holy crap. Oh, got over 1,100 yards of total combined offense. Oh man, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady get three Super Bowl losses against the NFC East. And I better, oh, and I better, and I better show you my prediction. I might as well show you my prediction now. So, so here it is. The, the Falcons' weakness has been their fucking defense in last year's Super Bowl. Okay, it was. It was pretty obvious when they blew a 28 to 10 fucking lead. When p people who say the Falcons were not that sick, they were right. They, you are right. But this is not the Falcons. This is the Eagles. Doug Peterson is not Andy fucking Reid. He's not. I, th I think Doug Peterson has proven that he's already a better head coach than Andy Reid because Doug Peterson took took the Eagles to the Super Bowl in only his second season. That team is fucking. That team has done has been doing a great fucking job despite injuries. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. If I'm wrong, so be it. Be it. It's gonna be a great fucking game regardless. Oh my god, take the Philadelphia Eagles. If I lose this pick, it'll be my first loss on YouTube. Dude, I would not be surprised if the Patriots win this fucking game. Cause because let's be honest here, the Patriots have had. The Patriots have had some help with officiating, but it is what it is. Did you honestly think I was going to take the, the Patriots to win? They're, they have been fucking shaky the entire fucking season, okay? Give me a fucking break on that one. They faced, they faced easy, bullshit, retarded football teams all season long. Yeah, did you really think I was going to take the, pa the Patriots to win? Oh, and to prove it, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bang, right there, right fucking there, yeah. Yeah, so you can, so yeah, give me a fucking break on that one. Yeah, holy fucking shit. Shit, shit. yeah, yeah, no way did I, did I think the Patriots were going to beat the fucking Philadelphia Eagles. I'm sorry. John Brady. Greatest quarterback of all time. My fucking ass. He is 1-3 in Super Bowls against the NFC East. 1-1 one one against the Philadelphia Eagles. Ha ha ha. And 0-2 and oh and against Eli fucking Manning. And that will be Tom Brady's legacy. He, his legacy will not be the greatest quarterback of all time. It never has been. Even after he won last year's Super Bowl, no, the, his no, his legacy will be one and three against against the NFC East and and can't get the job done against the Mannings in the biggest game game possible. Yeah, zero and two against Eli, one and three against Peyton in AFC Championship games. Give me a fucking break. Hell, yeah, good quarterback, great quarterback. Don't get me. Me wrong, but he's not the greatest quarterback of all time. So yeah, so all you Patriot fans who thought I actually took your goddamn team, kiss my fucking ass, ass. And you, and you Patriot fans can get fucked, as far as I'm concerned. Give, give me a fucking break, Philadelphia. Yeah, laugh, fucking take a gigantic shit on those fucking on those Patriot fans and the, on the fucking interwebs, cause holy shit. You fucking deserve it after what fucking happened took place. Oh. Back in 
2004, and then after, and then after that, well, we all know the fucking rest. Yeah, Patriot fans, you the referees can't save your pa can't save your team's butt on every fucking playoff game. Sorry, it just doesn't happen like that. That sometimes your team has to win for real, and you never and you and you couldn't win for real tonight. Give me a cock fucking break. Yeah, like I said, over 1,100 yards of total fucking offense. It was the they had the most. Combined total yardage in any fucking game, period. Regular season or postseason. And this is... And this is the greatest Super Bowl ever. Oh, it's not the greatest Super Bowl ever. The Patriots... Eagles beating the Patriots doesn't make it better. You're right. It, you're right. It makes it super thousand... It makes it a thousand times better, actually. A trillion times better. But not only that, there was action in in every single fucking quarter. All right, give me a fucking break on that one. Unlike last year's Super Bowl, everybody was oh, everybody was saying last year's Super Bowl was the greatest of all time. One problem with that though, only one team showed up the first half. I mean, granted, it was the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history, but that doesn't make it the greatest. Super Bowl in NFL history. This game is the greatest Super Bowl in NFL history. And no, it's not just because the Patriots lost. It's because it was well, because, like I said, there was action on both sides of the fucking on both fucking teams um, in every single fucking quarter. So give me a fucking break on that one. Nick Foles. Nick Foles, first quarterback. First backup quarterback since Trent Dilfer to win a Super Bowl. And this is the Eagles' first Super Bowl championship in franchise history. Street. I have to make a bit. I. Four years. Back in 2013, during my bashing of the NFL, I did a video called Eagles Fucking Sucked. Suck. It's gonna be Eagles Fucking Sucked now in the top. Title now. It's, yeah, past tense. Because your team does not suck anymore. Now, your only bad news is... Now, your only bad news is... Is, you know... Now you have to hear from, from the NFL experts. Oh, Nick Foles won a Super Bowl. Not Corson went. No, her, her, her. And the read pass... That, that's the other thing. The run pass option. Destroyed the Patriots all season... All season long. Granted, they didn't lose every t to every team with the run pass option bullshit. And give me a break. Who did they? Who did the Patriots face in the in the playoffs? That, who did they face in the, the entire season that was any good? The Jacksonville Jaguars. Don't you dare say Pittsburgh. I hate when people say the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers were garbage on defense. They may have been great on offense, but they were garbage on defense. The Steelers lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars twice for a reason. Okay, so give me a fucking break on that shit. <laughs> LeGarrette Blunt and Chris Long, who donated his entire salary to charity, by the way, a defeated Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and the New England Patriots. Right. And, and oh, and one more thing: fuck you, Josh McDaniels, and fuck you, Matt Patricia. Have fun ruining fucking franchises in goddamn Indianapolis and Detroit. Yeah, especially you, Josh McDaniels. Have fun ruining Andrew Luck's career with your fucking garbage nonsense. Since oh, Andrew Luck is our quarterback, and there's no and about it. Give me a fucking break. I hope to God they trade your fuck. I hope to God you fuck up the Colts like you, like you did when you fucked up the Denver Broncos back in 2009 and continuing in 2010. Fuck you. Have a nice day. Till next time. Later, fuckers. That's it.